And then I say, welcome to my channel once again. And then in this video, I'm going to take you through 10 questions on angles. So kindly stay tuned and then let's learn together. Now, the first question is we are having this diagram. P, Q, N, L, M. This side is 60 degrees, is O. This is X degrees, 130 degrees. And the question is in the diagram P, O, Q, M, O, N, and O, L are straight line. So P, O, Q, M, M O N and O L are straight lines. Angle Q O L. Angle Q O L equals 60 degrees. Calculate the value of X. So we are to find the value of X. This X. Now looking at angle P O M. Angle P O M. And angle N O Q. Angle N O Q. They are vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are equal. So we can say angle P O M is equal to angle N O Q. So if that is true, then we are going to get 130 degrees is equal to X plus 60 degrees so when we make l a subject i'm going to get s is equal to 130 minus 60 which we are going to get x to be equal to 70 70 degrees so let's go on to question number two number two we are giving this diagram triangle Something like this. S C question number two. P Q R. They say here is eighty degrees. Here is parallel to this one. Seventy degrees. So let's read the question. The question is in the diagram PQR is a triangle. PQR is a triangle with ST parallel to PQ. ST parallel to PQ. And angle QRP. Angle QRP equal to 70 degrees. Calculate angle RST. So we have to find angle R. ST. So angle R S T means we are finding this portion. Now when we look at angle P Q R. Angle P Q R and angle S T R. Angle S T R. They are corresponding angles. This and this. And corresponding angles are equal so we can see that this side is equal to this side 80 degrees now corresponding angles are equal so we have this side to 80 so we want this side we can add this angle srt srt plus angle rst plus angle RTS and equate it to 180 because the sum of the interior angles of a triangle sum up to 180 so we can add what is inside the bracket and add and equate it to 180 so angle SRT SRT is 70 degrees plus Angle RST, that is what we are looking for, so we maintain it. Angle RST plus 
angle RTS. When you're on this side, 80 degrees equals 180. Now, 70 plus 80, we are going to get 150. So angle RST is equal to 180 minus 150. Which we are going to get angle RST to be 30 degrees. So meaning this side is 30 degrees. So when we add this to this and this, we should get 180. So 30 plus 70 is 100 plus 80 is 180. Means that what we have is true. Let's move on to question number three. Question number three. We are giving this diagram. Something like this. This portion is X. T. Seventy degrees. Thirty. Now, this is the question we are having for the diagram we are having for question number three. And the question reads in the diagram PQ is parallel to RS. PQ is parallel to RS. Angle QPT, angle QPT equals 70 degrees. And angle PTR, angle PTR equals 30 degrees. And angle TRS, TRS is X. Find the value of X. So we are finding the value for this X. Now, looking at this side, we can extend this portion to touch this line so that we get a triangle. So we are having a triangle right here. And looking at this one, we can say that X, this angle T, R, S, angle T, R, S. So let me name this side maybe E. Angle T, R, S is equal to angle R, E, Q. Sorry, angle R, T, E, Q is equal to angle T, E, Q. So this side is equal to X. Now we have one property of a triangle which states that the sum of two opposite interior angles of a triangle is equal to one exterior. So with this property, we can add 70 to 30, 70 plus 30 equals X for our exterior angle, which are going to get 100 is equal to X. And that is the value for X. So let's move on to question number four. Question number four, we are having this diagram. Forty degrees. Here is Y, X, Z, T. Seventy degrees. Thirty X. In the triangle X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z is produced to T. So this is produced to T. X, Y is equal to X, Z. 
x y is equal to x z. Angle y x z. Angle y x z is seventy degrees. Y x z is forty degrees. Sorry. Angle x z t. X z t is what we are seeing over here. Find the value of x. So we have to find the value of x. Now this one, we can solve it in two different ways. Now let's look at the first way of solving it. So with this one, looking at this angle and this angle, they are on a straight line. And angles on adjacent straight lines come up to 180. So we can add this one plus 13x minus 20 is equal to 0. It's equal to 180, sorry. Now, 70 minus 20 is 50. Plus 13x is equal to 180. So we transpose this to the other side. 13x is equal to 180 minus 50. 13x is equal to 130 here. So I'm going to get x is equal to 130 over 13. And this goes into this 10 times. So x is equal to 10 degrees. Now let's look at a different way of solving this. Since this side is equal to this side, you can see that here is also 70 degrees. And we are going to use the property of triangle which state that the sum of the two opposite interior angles of a triangle is equal to one exterior angle. So we are going to add 40 to 70. 40 plus 70. And we equate it to 13x minus 20. Now 40 plus 70 is 1, 110 equals 13x minus 20. Now if you bring this to the other side, I would get 130 is equal to 13x. Which I'm going to get x to the 10. Meaning all the two sides, the two ways of solving it can work. Now let's move on to question number five. Question number five, we have something like this. Here is 20 x 25. And we are asked to find the value of x in the diagram. So this angle, 80 degrees, is basically opposite to this angle. So this is also 80 degrees. And they are on a straight line. So angles on a straight line sum up to 180. So x plus 80 plus 35 is equal to 180. So x is equal to 80 plus 35. I'm going to get 115 equals 180. Now x is equal to 180 minus 115. Which I will get x is equal to 65. Now let's move on to question number 6. Question number 6. We have a this diagram. triangle inside say this is equal to this side Q R S here is 158 degrees P S okay 
In the diagram, PQ is equal to PR. PQ is equal to PR. Find the size of the angle QPR. QPR. Meaning we are finding the size here. But we are only given one angle. Only this side. So we have to depend on this side to find all of the other angles so that we can also find this one. Because we are having only one angle over here. And we can only depend on that one. So looking at this angle P S M C M. Angle P S M. And angle P S Q. P S Q. They are on a straight line. And angles on a straight line sum up to 180. So when we add this, we should get 180. So angle P S M. P S M is 158 plus. P S Q, that is what we are looking for. So we maintain it. P S Q equals 180. Now angle P S Q is equal to 180 minus 58. Angle P S Q is equal to 22 degrees. So we have this side to be 22 degrees. And this side is equal to this side. So this side will also be 22 degrees. Now we know this side, we know this side, we are left with this side. And as we know, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle sum up to 180. So when we add this to this and this, we have to get 180. 22 plus angle PRM. Angle P R M plus another twenty two should give us one eighty. Now angle P R M plus twenty two plus twenty two is forty four equals one eighty. So angle P R M is equal to one eighty minus forty four. Angle P R M is equal to 136. So this place is 136. Now we know of this side, so we can easily find this side using angles on the straight lines. So with that angle P R Q, angle P R Q plus angle P R M. P R M should give us 180 angles on a straight line. So we don't know angle P R Q, that is what we are looking for. P R Q plus 136 is equal to 180 degrees. Now angle P R Q is equal to 180 minus 136 degrees. Now, angle PRQ is equal to 180 minus 136. We are going to get 54. Sorry, 44. So, 44 plus this is going to give us 180. So, meaning this side is 44 degrees. Now we know this side, and we said this side is equal to this side. So meaning this side is equal to 44. We are looking for this side. And as we know, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is sum up to 180. So let me draw this here. So when we add this angle to this angle to this angle, we must get 180. So angle QPR plus 44 
plus another 44 should give us 180. Now 44 plus 44 is 88. KOPR is equal to 88 plus 88 is equal to 180. Now angle KOPR is equal to 180 minus 88. So angle QPR is equal to 92. And that will be our answer for question number 6. Let's move on to number 7. Number 7. The diagram is a B then C D. This line is running through a blue one hundred and ten. The question is in the diagram A, B, and C D are parallel lines. A, B, and C D are parallel lines. What is the value of W? So this one is either this side is correspond to this side or this side correspond to this side. Either is correct. So I'm bringing this one to this side. This side is cor correspond to this side. So we are going to have W over here. And angles on an instance straight line sum up to 180. So W plus 180. W plus 110 is equal to 180. Now W is equal to 180 minus 110. W is equal to 70 degrees. So let's move on to question number 8. Question number 8, we are having this diagram. Z U V sixty four degrees seventy eight degrees and this one is Y. Now we are asked to find Okay, the question is in the diagram, the figure below U V is parallel to X Y. U V is parallel to X Y. And angle X Y W. X Y. What is W? W is here. Equals seventy-eight degrees. Find the value of the angle marked A. So we are looking for this angle. Now, I'm going to draw a line to pass straight here, at the same time, pass this side. So according to the new line drawing, you can see that 78 is vertically opposite to this side. So 78 is vertically opposite to this side and 64 is also vertically opposite to this side so now we are having angles around the point and angles around the point sum up to 360 so we are going to get a plus 64 plus 78 giving us 360 so 64 plus 78 A is equal to A plus 142 is equal to 360. Now A is equal to 360 minus 142. So we are going to get A to be equal to 218. That will be all for question number 8. Let's move on to number 9.
Question number nine, we were given this triangle M and T. And this is O. We're having S plus 25, 2S plus 5, and this side is 6S. The question reads find the size of the angle. M and O in the diagram. M and O. So we have to find the side, this side. But before that, we have to know the value for X. And looking at the, uh, the triangle, we are having two opposite interior angles and one exterior angle. So we can equate, we can add this and equate it to 6X. So when we do that, we are going to get S plus 25 plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 6x. 2s plus s, 3x. 5 plus 25 is 30 equals 6x. Now let me send this to this side. So 30 is equal to 6x minus 3x. So 30 will give us 3x. So we want x, divide both sides by 3, 3. Here, here, x is equal to 10. So we know x to be equal to 10. Now we want this side. And we know angles on the straight line sum up to 180. So we can add angle O, M and O, M and O plus angle O and P, O and P. And equate it to 180. M and O, that is what we are looking for. So we maintain that plus 6x is equal to 180. Angle M and O plus, we know x to be 10, so we just put the first 6 over here. So 6 times 10 is equal to 180. Angle M and O plus 60 is equal to 180. Now we send this to the other side. Angle M and O is equal to 180 minus 60. Angle M and O is equal to 180 minus 60 will give us 20. 120. Okay. Now let's move on to question number 10 and we are done. Okay, question number 10, final one. The diagram is something like this. O M Y fifty degrees N P. The question is in the diagram M N and O P are parallel lines. M N and O P here yeah, they are parallel lines. Find the value of Y. So as to find the value of Y, this side is one hundred five degrees. Now, do you know this side? We don't know. So let's keep that with that side. Or any variable you want, M. Now, M is vertically opposite to this side. So M is equal to this side. Now, angles on the straight line sum up to 180. So 105 plus M should give us 180. M is equal to 180 minus 105. M is equal to 75 degrees. So we know this place to be 75 degrees. This place is also 75 degrees. Looking at this, they are on a straight line. So we can add them and equate it to 180. So 
get the value for y. Y plus 75 plus 50 is equal to 180. So y plus 75 plus 30, I'm going to get 125 equals 180. Y is equal to 180 minus 125. So y is equal to 180 minus 125. I'm going to get um, 65. Oh, yeah, you don't want to put this on. 